Hello, and today, I'll be playing through Google Docs. This will be a walkthrough and tutorial on how to play Google Docs, one of my favorite games of all time. Now, I've played Google Docs many times in the past before. On my other accounts, I have a bunch of save files just filling my screen. So, I decided to make a new account right here. Uh, John Doe, peepeepoopoosmelly1 at gmail.com to show you guys the beauty of the game that is Google Docs. So let's start off by creating a new game. And here we are, it's all blank. Uh, the game is kind of like Minecraft, but without the Minecraft. It's a creative sandbox game. It's a multiplayer mode. I've done it many times, but all the people I've played with, they're terrible. They're bad at contributing to the world. So let's start off with something. Hmm, let's do something on Tom Bergeron. That seems like a fun topic. And here we go, I have a whole essay about Tom Bergeron, my least favorite person in the world. Now don't forget about the spin-off games, we have Google Slides, very similar, but the way the game works is completely different. Let's start a new game again, and here we see the format of it is way different. We can add more slides to it, and we can type in whatever we want. Another thing we can do is we can add images to Google Slides. Now, Google Docs has a similar feature, but Google Slides is more meant for visuals. That's the whole point of the game. So I'm going to go here, copy the image of Tom Bergeron, and paste it into this slide. Here we go. It's Tom Bergeron. He stinks. And here we got Google Sheets. It's another spin-off game in the Google series, but it's less popular than Google Docs and Google Slides. Now, we'll start another blank game. As you can see, it's way different from the other two again. Google's very creative when it comes with games. And this one's more meant for data and number crunching. So I can't slander Tom Bergeron on this one as easily, so I think I'm just gonna leave this for another day. 